Okay, this is going to be a long-ass video, so I'm just telling you that right now. Uh, the title says Computer Upgrade 2014 because I'm going to make this part of a multi-part series, not even a single video. I'm, I'm thinking about it, but it's going to be so long, I'm probably not going to get enough views, and people are going to be like, uh, uh, dislike, dislike. I try to get likes on my videos. But anyway, Computer Upgrade 2014, right? Let's take a, let's take a quick look at the system, right? Okay, so if you can see, you see two video cards in there. That's what I wanted. That's what I. That's exactly what I wanted. I, I was trying to get that for a while. Uh, sorry about the bad lighting. Um, and you know, got the cooler. Uh, the processor's still the same, but I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on the processor. Uh, the RAM is still the same, but I'm going to be adding in a couple more gigs, uh, a couple more sticks. Excuse me. Uh, power supply will always be the same because it's uh, 750 watts. That's a Corsair power supply. Um, I'm going to be doing RAID. Uh, for my uh, Samsung SSDs, and uh, there we go. My exposure wasn't even working. So, um, yep, crossfire. So anyway, that's the system. That's what the system's current state. It's different from last time, right? Let me explain what happened to get to this specific point. And we're going to we'll focus on the graphics cards because that's where the issue is. Cable management. I'm not going to fix that until I get everything settled. Like I've been jacking uh taking out video cards for the past two weeks and let me tell you why i uh originally uh my original plan was to go cheap be cheap get second hand and run off with it get a second hand 6870 run it in crossfire and deal with it because i didn't want to spend the money on a new graphics card so, as I was looking for graphics cards on Newegg, I uh, found a GeForce 6 760. Then I began talking to my friend on my team on my uh, TeamSpeak server, and wow, it went up in price too. But <laughs> I began talking to my friend. And um, he said, oh, the 760 is fine, but the 770 is better. Yeah, you get more this, that, you get more of that, and it's, only, and it's only this amount of money. I got the two gig model. That's what I got. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I got it. I, I, I brought the 770, you know, after watching videos and everything. I got the 770. So my plan to be cheap went out the window. Um, got the 770, March 3rd. That's the card I got, the G uh, Wind Force. Nope. Let me tell you something. Nvidia's cards are excellent, but their drivers are the worst thing you can use if you have AMD old AMD hardware. I didn't have a new processor in my system, but it's. I mean, if it's, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been multiple things, but uh, I got the card, installed the card, installed NVIDIA's drivers, had problems installing NVIDIA's drivers. Um, after I got the drivers to install after 20 or 15 to 20 minutes, um, I played some games. Played Call of Duty. Call of Duty stuttered like a bitch. It just did not want to play straight. It said I was getting 100 frames per second, but it was, it was stuttering. The game was stuttering, and that's all I'm going to say. I could go deep into detail of what I did to try to fix it. Nothing worked. I, I was up, uh, I think, Sunday night all the way until Monday morning trying to, trying to troubleshoot the card. I said, if I can't fix this shit, and I spent 330 bucks on this card, it's going back. I don't like spending money and not being happy that I spent money on a specific item that I've been waiting for that should be giving me better performance. Not to mention, if you guys use PowerDirector, mine isn't open. I had it open. But PowerDirector is a video editing software. That, let me turn this off, did not work. That did not work. It, it was absolutely useless. Um, when you go to edit a video, it'll say rendering. So it'll stop your editing process to render a fucking 240p video. Yeah, I, try, I, I tried editing a 240p video just to see if it was, like, overloading the video card or something. And it kept saying the same thing. So it's NVIDIA's shitty-ass drivers. The 770 is a good card. Just put it in a system that's not fucking old as mine. It's got... A, a, a old six core processor. I keep saying old six core processor, but it's very capable. 
anyway, I had that card for 48 to 72 hours, and it wound up going back to Newegg. So that was um, a bad experience. I had to pay for a restocking fee, and um, that same day, I ordered the Vision Tech, because I found it on Tiger Direct by searching Google. Um, the Vision Tech uh, Radeon 6870 X2. So 6870 X2. Okay. Uh, it wasn't the power color, but it was the Vision Tech, but I can just show you the card. Vision Tech and power color uses the same PCB, the same uh, shroud, the same fans, and the same heat pipes. It's They're literally the same card, but they have different nameplates on them. So that's the card I got from Tire Direct. It said brand new. Um, for $329. Uh, so I'm like, oh, great. Dual GPUs. Yes, it's an old card. Yeah, the texture rate isn't as fast as the 770. However, it's neck and neck. Looking at GPU Boss, of course. I went to that website. So I got the card, put it in, tried to play Grand Theft Auto because I had a custom version of it it played like dog shit so I was a little bit upset with that but I'm like okay maybe that's such an old game that it may not take advantage of a dual GPU card now a dual GPU card you do need to enable crossfire on your computer and you may need to have a crossfire compatible motherboard but not going to get into that so I played played with this card for 15 minutes playing Grand Theft Auto and I'm like oh you know, it's not playing that good, maybe because I have too many textures and, 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 and hacks and all that shit I put in my game. So I'm like, okay, let me quit and play Call of Duty and see how that plays on dual monitors or what, or Ifinity. So I press quit in, Bla uh, in, uh, <laughs> in, in, in Grand Theft Auto 4, start, quit, black screen. That's, and once I heard the video, I, I, I went, once I hit quit and I heard the fans on the video card, Spin up to 100%, I knew what happened. I knew the GPU went. I had that same experience when I brought the 6870 from, um, when I purchased the 6870 from uh, Canada. It did the same exact thing. I'm like, you son of a bitch. So, um, that card went back faster than I could actually put it in my system. Oh yeah, by the way, it's a 12-inch card. It's a really large card. It's larger than the 770. I had a hard time trying to get it in my case. So that card, uh, as of now, is in Naperville, Illinois, uh, and I'm just waiting on my uh, refund. Um, so that card's gone. The and then I told myself, you know, what, fuck it, I'm not, you know, um, playing with video cards anymore. I'm done with this shit. I, I wanted this motorbike that I've been looking at, and then you know, me being fucking electronic addiction, went to go search for another video card. Went on eBay. Saw another 6870. I said, you know what? I'm going to go with my original plan, put another 6870 in my system, and run it in Crossfire like I want it to. Be Mr. Cheapo, buy secondhand, everything, um, and, you know, do it that way. Because I seem to be having better luck with that. And I did. I had two video cards that didn't satisfy me. One one of them broke, and the other one had shitty drivers. Um, but uh, that's that Crossfire you're seeing right there. I just got that second card a couple days ago from eBay and it runs great. It runs cool and it, you know, it runs great. I haven't had a problem with it. Not yet anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I've been playing Battlefield uh, 3. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Looking for Origin here. And I uh, just got this uh, game uh, yesterday. And uh, I'm probably not even logged in because I think I restarted my system. But anyway, I've been playing Battlefield 3. I use it in Infinity. It plays in Infinity as long as you have your settings at medium. It will not play at absolute ultra. But single, uh, excuse me, single, uh, 6870, uh, excuse me, single monitor, Crossfire, 6870, ultra to high or high to ultra, plays great. And there's the uh, other box right here. I just, there it is. The second one. There, right there on the bottom. As you can see, the box is much more larger, but it came with a little bit more uh, things. This was actually a bundled pack uh, when this card was purchased brand new. Um, so, yeah, I just got this card, and yeah, now it's I have a working video card. After two weeks of getting video cards, sending them back, getting video cards, sending them back, I finally have a video card that uh, works. <laughs> so... 
that's my story. That's that's why this computer upgrade video is this part is the story, but the next part of the video will probably be upgrades. Um, now I can talk about what upgrades has been done to the system and what upgrades are coming to the system. Um, I'm kind of stressing that because that's what this video should have been about. So now that you guys heard me complain and bitch and moan, uh, we're going to talk about the system. And uh, I can pop this off, actually. All right, so it's a little bit messy. Don't don't talk about my cable management because it's still a work in progress. <sighs> so here is the system up close. That crossfire bridge. Here's the second card there. Not as dirty as mine is. It's very dusty in mine. I cleaned mine out low. There's the power supply that's running both of these. I plugged in the kilowatt meter. I'm using 480 watts tops. Uh, when these things are under load and, you know. And there's the Cooler Master uh, uh, Evo 212. And um, I'm going to be putting this, in, putting this in a push-pull configuration. Right now, the Phenom X6 is installed. But I wanted to be proactive and get the cooler now because... I just ordered an AMD FX8320 uh, for $50 off, so I, I spent like 100 bucks on the entire CPU, uh, brand new, and it'll be here on Monday. Uh, I also updated the motherboard. As you see, it's not an Asus uh, ASRock motherboard anymore. I said I'm never buying an ASRock motherboard again, because with this single 6870, wow, it is warm down here. Um, with this six, a single 6870, I was getting um, a, a problem when I put the computer to sleep. So I put the computer to sleep, and <clears throat> and it was all fine. Waking the computer up was another problem. It seems like the motherboard wouldn't communicate with the card properly, and I did have the latest BIOS drivers on there, uh, the latest BIOS um, firmware or whatever you want to call it on there. So I did have that, but when I woke the computer up, the computer would turn on, but the video card wouldn't. You would hear the fan spin up to 100%, but no video. So I'd have to shut my computer off in the back, and then turn it back on, and then it would pick up from where it left off, of course, because I have an SSD. So I thought that was a card issue all this time, because I got this from Craigslist. I put in this motherboard, this thing can be put to sleep, and I can wake it up. No problem. Even with these two cards in it, it does it great. So, I'm never buying another ASRock motherboard. They're pieces of shit. So, um, it's an MSI 970A G43. Um, it's got the Click BIOS, which is really nice. Uh, I've got 8 gigs of DDR3, uh, ripped jaw axes. Uh, RAM has gone up in price. If you guys haven't noticed, RAM has gone up at least 20 or 25%. So the, this RAM, I purchased it for 35 brand new. It's actually worth $50. It's the first component in my system that actually went up in value instead of down. Because computer components, as they get old, they start to lose their value. Because, you know, they get slow compared to the uh, new demanding hardware that comes out to match more powerful programs. But um, that's the system setup. Now, uh, what's coming? That's a good question. I've got the AMD FX8320 coming in. I've got another 8 gigs of RAM coming in. I've got, um, oh yeah, another SSD coming in. And uh, maybe some more fans. But that's going to be the overhaul and update or upgrade for 2014. This is going to take me a couple months to complete. If I'm lucky, a couple weeks. But I just wanted to give the story on what was happening with the system and a computer upgrade. Uh, I could have went for a 7770, but I decided not to because my luck with video cards has been so bad. I said, you know what? Let me go get the reliable 6870s that have been working for me so well. Why don't I just get another one? And I, darn it, I got it. <laughs> I got it, and it's working fine. Works like a charm. Crossfire is great. And that is all. 
So, um, that's all I want to talk about. Uh, my next video will be a part two. I would make this all one video, but, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I don't know if I'll get any views on this or not, but it, it, it'll, it'll probably be a fun video to uh, edit, in, and uh, I'll go from there. So stay tuned for those updates. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, part of the computer rebuild. Um, so like I said, I've got the 8350 coming in. I've got the another pack, um, 8 gigs of uh, RAM coming in to give me 16 gigs. Um I've got another SSD coming in uh, to for RAID Zero. I want you know I'm going to get the most performance out of this system as possible. This thing does have a RAID controller on it, but I may end up may end up buying a separate RAID controller um, and possibly some more fans. But this is part of the upgrade. Let me turn the light off. That is a Steel Series Sensei. Absolutely loaded. I don't even know how to use the darn thing. Uh, you can customize the colors. That's actually red, but the camera picks it up as orange. And you can customize the colors, 16 million colors. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, all it does is combine <laughs> the LEDs um, and to make one color. So you know RBG can make just about any color in the world. Um, so, yeah, that's the mouth right there. It's got buttons on both sides. It's pretty cool. This keyboard is getting replaced next week. Um, there's somebody selling uh, AMD, uh, excuse me, uh, Razer Black Widow Elite Keyboards on eBay for $75 manufacturer uh, refurbished 90-day warranty. Great. Um, Got to love those uh, cheap warranties. Um and uh, I'll be replacing this keyboard here because this keyboard, the number, the S is actually getting worn. I never liked this keyboard. I got it because it was backlit and it was better than using a stock piece of shit Dell keyboard from 2002. Um, but I never liked this keyboard when I got it because it does the height on it when the legs when the uh, legs are down. It um, it's just it's really low down to the desk. I don't like the low profile keys and. Um, yeah, I mean, other it's been a good keyboard, but I never liked it. To be honest with you, I mean, spend forty bucks on a keyboard and I don't like it, but it worked better than the other one. It's got the macros and everything, but you know, it's um, it's tired. <laughs> Put it that way. I it's it works perfect, but it's tired. So I'm going to be getting the Black Widow next week, and uh, wow, this is an 18 minute video. Wow. Um. <laughs> um. I'll be getting that next week, and uh, yeah, so I want to stop talking so I can uh, edit this video, and uh, those are all the upgrades I'm getting, and maybe another monitor, maybe, um, and I'll probably prob bleh, probably do a video on how to add another monitor when your card only accepts three monitors, so, okay, that's it, that's all I want to talk about, I uh, will shut up now, and uh, thanks for watching.